I'm ready to sing, Dad. Okay, repeat after me. One, two, ready, go. Me, fa, re, mi, sol, la, ti, do. Hey friends and welcome to another Prodigy's Music Lesson. My name is Mr. Michael, and it's the end of the month of April, which is the month of the young child. And so today, we're going to break out some solfege and have a lot of fun going over the wheels on the bus. This lesson is going to be aimed at younger learners, but older kids, don't give up. Try this solfege with us, and you'll have a blast, too. The Wheels on the Bus was published way back in 1937, 86 years ago, in a magazine called The American Childhood. It was called just The Bus. The tune is derived from the traditional British song, Here We Go Round the Mulberry Bush. It's also similar to the tune, Buffalo Gals, Won't You Come Out Tonight? Can you hear the difference? The wheels on the bus go round and round. They are all very similar in tune. Here at Prodigies, the wheels on the bus is part of our core curriculum that focuses on the red bell, do, and the teal bell, sol. But today, we're going to focus on solfege for the whole verse and the chorus. You can find this version of the song in our book called My First Songbook, Volume 2 which is available at Prodigies.com. It's also available in PDF form to Plus and Lifetime members. You can find out more at Prodigies.com. And now let's get into Wheels on the Bus. All right, here we are in our bus, riding down the road, practicing our solfege. Let's go in fixed dough with Wheels on the Bus. Do, fa, 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 la, do, la, fa. Great job with the solfege. Now let's sing the letter names. Are you ready? Here we go. C F F F F A C A F G G G E D C C F F F F A C A F G C E F. All right, great job with the letter names. Now some friends are going to join us to sing the lyrics of Wheels on the Bus. Let's sing it. Wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. All right, for that next verse, the horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep. Sing it out with our friends. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all through the town. Give yourself a huge round of applause. Great job with Wheels on the Bus, everybody. All right, now it's time for our musical word wall. Today's word is accelerando. An accelerando is when you change the speed of the music from something that's slow to something faster. This Hebrew song called Hava Negila is one of the best examples of an accelerando. Let's listen. Notice how this song starts really slow and march-like. Let's count it with me. Notice it's starting to speed up ever so slightly. The 
listen close here. I heard an increase in speed again. Yeah, now we're moving a little bit faster. If you're marching along in a circle right now, get ready. So as you can see, this song started really, really slow and then got really, really fast. So that's a big, wide accelerando. Accelerandos can also happen over just a few notes or measures. And they don't have to be very long either. Like the word accelerando, we have the word in English that's accelerate. That means to speed up. Your parent's car has an accelerator or a gas pedal. When you push that pedal down, the car starts to move forward faster. And likewise, when you're learning to ride your bike and you get on the seat and you start pushing with the pedals, at first, you're going really, really slow as you're trying to get your balance and not fall over. But as you start to push the pedals and the bike moves forward, you'll begin to realize that if you pedal faster and you're able to keep your balance, you'll begin to accelerate and it will actually be easier to keep your balance. So you can go accelerando when you're learning to ride your bike. Accelerandos are all throughout music, in children's music, classical music, and other forms of dances. Changing the speed from slow to fast gives a song energy and a sense of momentum or moving forward. Good music has a sense of direction, like it's taking you from some place to another place. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed learning about Accelerando on today's musical word wall. And now it's time for our Prodigy of the Week. This week's Prodigy of the Week is Michal Fus. Michal began his Prodigy's music lessons education way back when Prodigy's first started. He used it for the first four or five years of his life, and he learned some very valuable skills early on, such as his absolute pitch and also his ability to sing in tune, and he also learned to play piano. Let's check out his absolute pitch skills. E, G, a sharp, F, C, E, D, F, D, E. Now listen to him play Five Little Pumpkins on the piano. These days he's eight years old and he's making music on YouTube, singing in English and in Polish. What an amazing, beautiful voice. Thank you so much, Mikhail, for sharing your talents with us. We're so glad to have a part in your musical upbringing. You can find Mikhail on YouTube by typing in Michael, M-I-C-H-A-L, space F-U-S, Michael Fus. We're looking for more people to share their stories here for Prodigy of the Week. So if you'd like to leave us a voicemail, give us a ring, 302-307-1880. That's it for today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks so much for dropping by. Happy musicking. Let's hit it. One, two, three. So now the time has come to say goodbye. I hope that we can sing again sometime Another melody will
we'll play and sing and sign. So until next time, I will see you later, see you later, see ya. But we'll be back later, see ya later, see ya later, see ya. But we'll be back later, see ya later, see ya later, see ya later, see ya, see ya later.